the fundamental assumptions of Western civilization are valid. How about that? You know, it's not... You think it's an accident? Oh, here's how you find out, okay? Which countries do people want to move away from? Hey, not ours. Which countries do people want to move to? Ours. Guess what? They work better. And it's not because we went around the world stealing everything we could get our hands on. It's because we got certain fundamental assumptions right. Thank God for that. After thousands and thousands of years of trying. And because of that, we've managed to establish a set of civilizations that are shining lights in the world. You know, now, you can be pretty damn filthy and still be a shining light in this world, right? Because if you look around the world at the state of governance in most places, it's like the most pathological, corrupt, and vicious thugs rule. And to stand out as an illuminated light against that background isn't so difficult. But nonetheless, you know, we're as good as it's got. And unless we can come up with something better, we should be very careful about messing around with that. So why don't we start with the assumption that we're doing something right. One of the things we're doing right, for example, is that we actually value the individual, right? The individual has intrinsic value in Western societies. Do you know how long it took people to formulate that as an idea? And how unlikely that idea is that poor you, you know, useless, powerless you, with all your damn faults, you're actually worth something. You're worth something to the point that the law has to respect you. God, we don't want to abandon that for some half-witted collectivism, which we're doing as rapidly as possible, because one of the things that characterizes the radical left types is they don't give a damn about you as an individual or about individuals at all. You're black or you're white or you're Latino or you're transsexual or you're homosexual or whatever. You're a group. You're a member of a group. And the only thing that matters is the group. Well, I can tell you, if the only thing that matters is the group, you bloody well don't matter very much. And then you've got to ask yourself just exactly what sort of people are trying to set things up so it is that the individual doesn't matter very much. Well, it's the sort of people to whom the individual doesn't matter very much. And I might suggest that you don't elect them. And that when they attempt to take power that you do everything you can to stop them.